In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a factory reset on the new guide on Shaw Direct receivers 600, 605, and 630. So here I have a 605. <clears throat> what you do, make sure you exit it all out of all the menus. On your Shaw remote, press options. 49886. So 49886. Try that again. Oh, no, we're good. Um, so, yeah, it took a couple seconds to actually enter in after I pressed the uh, buttons. So, yeah, options 49886. And uh, for 630s, you can preserve the hard drive content or delete it. So, you can wipe it clean or keep it. Now there's also CSS installation data. Um, if you're putting the receiver in the same spot with the same connections, then you should preserve this. This is a, a channel stacking switch. It, uh, it allows to split off the uh, satellite signal into uh, more, so more receivers can use it from one line, I think. Um, can erase that if you're getting rid of your receiver or doing something else without hooking up somewhere else. And then you go perform factory reset. Yes. It turns off for, I don't know, five minutes or so. Does stuff like that and then it turns back on. It's completely wiped and then you, if you're activating it, you have to uh, send your receiver refresh signals from Shaw, you can do that online or call in and do it. And then it will load up and then it should be go good to go again. But yeah, you have to um, send refresh signals. It will it will be like no one, it will have no programming on it once you turn, once it turns back on after you factory reset it. So make sure you know what you're doing once you go to do this. Um, if there's any questions or you wanna request another video for Shaw stuff, just let me know in the comments and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching.